welcome all to circular motion class 3 in which we'll discuss about angular acceleration angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity it is represented by alpha and it is a vector quantity so we can write this is angular acceleration alpha vector is change in angular velocity means final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity divided by time so we'll use this equation when angular acceleration is a constant and if angular acceleration is not a constant if it is varying as a function of time so we can find out the value of instantaneous angular acceleration by using the differential equation that is d omega divided by dt if there is a change in angular velocity by d omega in a small duration of time dt so we can write angular acceleration is d omega divided by dt and uh, even uh, we can f write it in different form that is d omega divided by dt into if you are multiplying it with d theta divided by d theta so this term that is d theta by dt is representing the value of angular velocity so even we can write this angular acceleration is equal to omega that is angular velocity into d omega divided by d theta so these are the basic equations that we are using for the calculation of angular acceleration now as uh, angular acceleration is rate of change of angular velocity we can write about its uh, unit the unit for angular velocity was radians per second divided by time or divided by second so you can write the unit for angular acceleration is radians per second square and angular acceleration is a vector quantity and the direction of angular acceleration is along the direction of change in angular velocity now let's see what about the relation between acceleration or linear acceleration of an object and its angular acceleration so we discussed in the angular displacement part that displacement is equal to nothing but r vector cross angular displacement and linear velocity is nothing but r vector cross angular acceleration angular velocity now if you are differentiating this equation so we can take it as dv divided by dt is equal to r into d omega divided by dt this d omega by dt is going to give the value of angular acceleration so we can write this dv by dt which is nothing but linear acceleration or over here it is the acceleration which is responsible for change in magnitude so that acceleration is known as nothing but a tangential acceleration so the value of tangential acceleration is equal to radius vector cross d omega by dt which is angular acceleration so we'll use that equation tangential acceleration is equal to r vector cross alpha or a is equal to r into alpha where a represents the tangential acceleration so the meaning of tangential acceleration is assume that if you are considering a situation where the object is moving in a circular path so at this instant let's say the particle is over here so and its instantaneous direction of velocity is along this direction so there may be an acceleration along the direction of velocity or with respect to the circle it is in tangential direction which is responsible for change in magnitude of velocity so that acceleration we call it as something but tangential acceleration which is changing only the magnitude of velocity so that can be find out by using that equation r into alpha now in kinematics uh, if the object is moving with constant linear accelerations then we'll use equations of motion to find out the relation between final velocity initial velocity displacement time etc and same kind of equations we can use in circular motion also uh, among the relation between their angular components like in linear motion if you are writing v is equal to u plus at in angular motion we can write final angular velocity is equal to initial angular velocity plus over here linear acceleration a vector over here you can write angular acceleration alpha 
into time t take the equation number one same as like that equation s is equal to ut plus half a t square we can write the corresponding equation over here in linear motion if it is linear displacement angular motion will go for angular displacement angular displacement is equal to initial angular velocity into time plus half into angular acceleration into time k square and similar to that equation v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s we can write over here final angular velocity square minus initial angular velocity square is equal to 2 into alpha into angular displacement and in linear motion we'll use uh, the differential equations like v is equal to ds divided by dt so the, here the corresponding equation is omega is equal to d theta divided by dt and uh, alpha is equal to dv or a is equal to dv divided by dt so the corresponding equation you can write angular velocity angular acceleration is equal to rate of change of angular velocity d omega divided by dt and if you are multiplying it with ds and divided by ds we'll get the equation in terms of s that is v dv divided by ds corresponding equation over here we already discussed that is omega into d omega divided by d theta so for solving questions just try to compare the linear equations and angular equations hope so that you understood whatever the things we discussed in this class if you are having any doubt please contact thank you